ready? Rolling. Rolling. All right, Hannah Green, two under 70 today. Uh, we were just chatting. It was not like this an hour ago. Mm -hmm. um, when did the, the weather kind of change and, and uh, how did that affect your play? Did it affect your play? Uh, actually, it was quite late in the round, so it only happened when we got to 70 box, which was uh, not too bad, but it was a par five and straight into the wind. Um, so we were kind of all surprised as soon as we got up to the tee box with how windy it did get. But um, I mean, I'm hoping this <laughs> blows whatever is coming away quickly, but um, we managed to yeah get in before anything. But it did make it tough, um, a little bit of like indecision on the shots coming in but um unfortunately made a bogey on the last but i don't think it was because of the wind <laughs> that's unfortunate <laughs> not how you want to end the round but still mm -hmm. overall two solid days you always talk about how comfortable you are here how confident are you feeling going into the weekend just a few strokes off the lead yeah um i briefly saw a leaderboard on um eight green so i, I guess two back and um, a couple of rookies uh that are up there so um, it's tough to win a golf tournament and I'm sure the course is just going to get harder come the weekend so hopefully just keep posting low numbers and try and get into the last group on Sunday. Um, I know you're, you're counting down to that flight home to mm -hmm. Australia. How much how does that help you relax mm -hmm. knowing that yes you love being here but it's the next step to being home to getting a break yeah it definitely makes my mindset change and i'm not sure if that happens every event that i go to that is my last event before going home i feel like just because this is a special place to me it kind of helps with that but i said to my caddy you know four more sleep time in my own bed um which is the first time i've said that all week i guess i did say it earlier it was seven days till i'm home but um i am pretty excited about that so just yeah makes me like I guess when I'm not having great moments on the golf course it just I can reflect on that and think about that and it puts me in a good spot so yeah I'm very excited to be going home and I saw you Nelly and Marina sending a bunch of autographs for little kids after the round last time we were here we were here in the middle of everything that was going on how great is it to be back now especially here at Columbia Edgewater with the fans yeah it's great to have them back um, it was a real bummer the two events that I was uh, defending was through COVID so we had no spectators so uh, we had a really good following today and I, I'm sure it will only get better this weekend have you had any conversations with the super since uh, since this has started no unfortunately not but hopefully he can give me some more tips but um, I'm sure he's happy with how the course is presented because I think we all are awesome well yeah. thanks so much thank you oh what'd you get at Proud Mary the other day uh, I actually went there this morning I got eggs on toast with some avocado and uh, potato hash but um, I think one of the guys he actually rec like realized that a lot a lot of golfers are going so um, hopefully they can shout out and maybe get us some free coffee <laughs> there you go we'll make that happen yeah thanks we'll see you tomorrow thank you all right.